Welcome to Electro Online. Have you ever wondered how much heat radiation is lost by the human body? And of course, we're talking about when there's no clothes on the human body, so there's direct radiation into the environment the person is in. Now, if that person is outside at night, well, you would lose a lot more heat. But what if the person was inside a room which is kept at 20 degrees Celsius, and let's say that the skin of the person is at about 35 degrees Celsius. The body core is probably at 37, but the skin is a little bit cooler. So, how much heat loss would there be? And we're talking about the net heat loss, because obviously the body would receive some energy from the room as well. So let's write down the equation, assuming that the area, the surface area of the body is 1.5 square meters, and that the emissivity is about 0.95. So the net heat loss, that would be the dQ dt, would be equal to the emissivity constant, sigma, the area, the surface area of the body, times the temperature of the body to the fourth power minus the temperature of the room to the fourth power, because that is the amount of energy the body would receive back from the environment, from the room. Of course, we need to convert those temperatures to Kelvin instead of Celsius. So let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. And of course, what we're going to do then is we're going to try this again, but then we're going to change the temperature of the room to 25 to see how much of a difference that would make. All right, so this is equal to 0 0.95 sigma. That would be equal to, uh, let's see, 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. Unit-wise, that would be watts per square meter Kelvin to the fourth power, and the surface area 1.5 square meters, and now the temperature, that would be the body temperature, if we add 35 to 273, that's 308, so that would be 308 Kelvin, that's a K here, to the fourth power minus 20 added to 273, that would be 293, 293 Kelvin to the fourth power. All right. And what would that be? So that's the dQ dt, the amount of heat, in this case, lost, and that would be net loss, so net loss, and let's see what we get. Where is my calculator? All right, starting with temperature, we go 308 square square, that's to the fourth power, minus 293 square square equals and we multiply that times 1.5, multiply it times 5.67 e to the 8 minus, and times 0.95 equals, and let's see here, 131.6. So this is equal to 131.6. That would be watts or joules per second. Let me try these numbers again, just in case. 308 square square minus 293 square square equals times 1.5 times 5, oop, uh, yeah, 5.67 e to the 8 minus, and times 0.95 equals 131.6 joules per second. Now, that's for one second, right? 131.6 joules per second. And if you want to turn that into calories, we'd have to convert. So let's see here, that would be equal to uh, calories per joule. It's um, See here, 4.186 joules per one calorie. So if we divide that by 4.186, we get 31.4. So it would be 31.4 calories per second. Now those are not food calories, those are regular calories. Of course, convert that to food calories, we have to divide by 1,000. Okay, now that's the per second. Now we want to find out the net heat loss per hour. So Q would be equal to dQ dt, the amount of heat loss, net heat loss per second, time, of course, the time of one hour. So in this case, that would be 131.6 joules per second. And we then mul mul multiply that by the time of one hour, which is 3,600 seconds. So let's see how much that is. So divide by one times 4.186, and now we multiply times 3600, and that would be 473,000, 473,760 joules. And of course, converting that to calories, we divide by 4.186, and we get about 113,000 calories, 113,000 calories. Round it off. 
And of course, that would be equal to 113 food calories, kilocalories, and that kind of tells us something. So we can lose over 100 calories, food calories, or 113 kilocalories every hour by just simply radiating our heat out into the room. That's pretty good. That's a lot of energy loss without doing any exercise. Of course, you'd be getting pretty cold after a while standing in a room that was only at 20 degrees centigrade. If you're not moving, you'd be getting pretty cold. But what would the number now be if we change the room temperature to 25 degrees? So let's try that. So again, we do the DQDT. Now in this case, we're going to plug in the numbers and we're going to change the temperature of the room. So it still would be 0 0.95 and still would be the constant 5.67 times 10 to the minus eight. That would be watts per um, meters squared per Kelvin to the fourth power. And then we multiply times 1.5 meters squared and then multiply it times, so we have 308, so the body temp or the skin temperature would still be the same, but now we're going to subtract from uh, the room being hotter, so now it would be 298 to the fourth power. So let's see how much of a difference an extra five degrees in the room would make. So let's try this again. So in this case, we end up with 308 square square minus 298 square square equals multiply the times 1.5, multiply times 5.67 e to the 8 minus and multiply times 0.95 equals. And now notice we have 89.9. So now we're down to 89.9 joules per second. And of course, if we then want to multiply that times 1 over 4.186 joules per calorie, converting that to calories, so divide by 4.186 and that would be 21.5, 21.5 calories per second. So you can see that the heat loss went from 131.6 joules per second down to 89.9 joules per second. And then computing that for an hour, so the Q for an hour would be equal to the DQ dt, the amount of heat loss per second times the number of seconds in an hour. So in this case, that would be equal to 89.9 joules per second. Multiply that times 3,600 joule, uh, seconds, not joules, but seconds. Let's see here. So 89.9 times 3,600. So now we have 323,000, 323,640 joules per hour. And then convert that to calories. That would be divided by 4.186. That would be equal to, mm, let's see here, 77,300 calories per hour. And then of course, converting that food calories or kilocalories, that would be equal to 77.3 kilocalories per hour, which is the same as food calories. And notice it went from 113 kilocalories to 77 kilocalories per hour by simply raising the room temperatures just by five degrees. That's assuming no clothes, simply heat loss by radiation, reduce, just don't include convection and so forth. So that's kind of interesting. The heat loss is significant even in a room where you're getting some heat back from the room. And that is how it's done. <laughs> it's just all for an experiment. Yes. We do anything for an experiment. Yes.